Round seven marks a monumental occasion for one player in this Guardians lineup. Hamish McAllister injured with his first touch just a minute into his debut match. Injured for a very long time. Makes his long awaited return to the Guardians lineup just back from injury. Hello, runner, welcome along to Cornflakes Crib, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the subscriber series, the Global Rugby Challenge. Today, the Guardians of the Crib are up against Munster, and here is the Munster side lining up for this one, sitting down in 10th position. One win and four losses. It's looking like it could be a poor season for the Munster side. They'll be relying on their international quality of the likes of Zebo out there on the left wing. Keatley as well, Earls, but plenty in the front row and the forward pack. Likes of Killacoin, Gainazu, O'Connell there will be the ones they'll look for an impact. Can Munster upset another subscriber side who just seem to keep on trundling through the winds? So here is the Guardians of the Crib team. Notable return. Hamish McAllister at number 10. We'll get to him in a second. Let's have a look first at the lineup starting at the top. Luke de Normanville, Maximus Wilder, and Mike Hunt return to the front row in the second row. Andrew McFannin alongside Ivan Ferrylin, who have been impressive in recent weeks. Ronan Calvert, Gubbery Heads, and Ken Pringle moves to the number eight position. Cullen Witten returns to scrum half. Outside him is the returnee, Hamish McAllister, who will be hoping to get a full match under his belt for the first time. We've only seen him for about a minute, so we're really unsure what he can offer this Guardian side. In the centres is Callum Cornwall and Heston Gardner on the wings. Kieran Jones, Peter Smart and Jake Waller will be at fullback for the Guardians, but really what we want to see is the partnership that Callum Witten and Hamish McAllister can bring to the side the first man, the only man who's really yet to be seen in action. We are good to go on this one here. Munster will be playing in the blue. The Guardians of the Crib, of course, in the red and white. Kickoff is underway. Round seven of the Global Rugby Challenge. Guardians of the Crib up against all oh, Munster. And Calvert's lost that ball. Smart did well to pick it up. And here's Callum Witten who fires it out the back door. Ken Pringle picks it up. And finally a breakdown. There's no Guardians players back there at all. And Munster turn it over. Ganazu goes plummeting into the defence. Now we look wide. Williams to Keatley. And they get some options open as they find room out here for Keith Earls, who is absolutely crunched. Once again, Callum Witten already in the action for a few faces. So a penalty here for the Munster side. And all oh, this, I don't know about this call, folks. It's early doors here. You'd imagine... They'll be wanting to have points on the board. That would be the clever thing to do. Give it to Keatley. Put him three points over and start again. Get the league. That's what you need to do. They've gone for the line out there. If this doesn't come off, questions have to be asked. That's Kilcoyne. Good run there Please. from the big loose head prop. Everyone joining into this rack for the Guardians. Even Kieran Jones in there. Callum Witten, the way to Heston Gardner. Pops it up on the bounce to Cordwell. He's knocked it on. And the ball comes Brandon back Jarrett. to Munster. They go deep. Keatley returns it. Wide they come. Oh, a little grubber kick through there. Not what they're looking for from Andrew Smith at all. Numbers on his right. Should have shifted it. But the Guardians will get a chance to clear their line here. Under pressure very early on from Munster. Jack Waller will be the one to thump it downfield. Kieran Jones on his right will be chasing hard. He's the first one to lead the chase. Gets there and they shift it out to the left. Where Butler takes it in. But a good tackle from Heston Gardner takes him down. Short play. Looking for the numbers. Here's Keeley through one tackle. Great run though from Holland as well. Still there for Munster. They look wide. A big break here from Williams. Numbers as well with Sebo. Back and foul. The big number eight going for run stander. But Gardner says no. Turnover ball. McAllister. Here's a look at him. He's got away with no injury there. But his pass was shocking. Hunt. On the 22. Mike Hunt takes it in. Back they go now to Hamish McAllister. 
who drills this. Oh, that's a beautiful kick from the returning man from injury. What a stunner! He's put the mistake on Felix Jones in the back. And Munster will be giving away a line out in their own 22. What a turnaround. This man could be just what the Guardians need. To the back they go. Nicely pulled in from heads. Cordwell shifts it out to McAllister. Oh, he shifts through one. Shifts through two, but taken down the tackle. Nice run from McAllister. He's showing his wares nicely here. Callum Witten has a bit of a dabber away. Gives it to Cordwell. Cordwell out to Smart, but Smart wasn't ready. And the ball has gone away to Deneen, who has chopped this out on the full anyway. So... An opportunity for Munster to clear their line has been missed. But a communication breakdown there from the Guardians' back line to the front they go. Witten, McAllister. Dodgy ball finds Cordwell. Jones, nice ball, Ferryland plays the numbers nicely to Gardner. And almost through he went, but he loses the ball again. That's dreadful. And Munster Please. come away with it through Williams. Do they hang on? No. It's still there for Munster. They decide to go short side. It's there for Stando who bops it in nicely to Dougal. And the Guardians pull this sideways. All oh, right round on itself. Kill a coin. We have a run. Dummies. But pulled down in a very slow motion play there from Pringle. Oh, there's room out here. Smith. Oh, Smith's been hammered. He's running covered. Through the middle he goes. Puts on the fan. But he cannot get his way through. Numbers coming back now. Gardner. Gardner for Smart. Smart to the corner. That's a try. Peter Smart's in. The faith has been repaid from Peter Smart. The only one to retain a spot from last week. And he pays the dividends as well. A smart play from Peter Smart. Heston Gardner, those two, real breakdown earlier in the match. But you can see they quickly worked it out. They quickly got back to their feet. And quickly, they rectified their mistake. My cunt was waiting right there for the play as well. But it didn't come to him. In the end, Peter Smart, great try. The Guardians hit the lead. After some really hard work in defense as well. Jake Wallace in for the goal kicking duties as well. Oh, this is a terrible angle to take shots at goal from. The sun right in his eyes. Way out on the right hand touchline. Hits it. Looks all right. Oh, that's a stunner. What can you say about that, Jake Waller? That's a stunning kick. Into the sun. Hardly see the post, yet he slots it like it's a training run. 22 gone, 7-0, Guardians lead Munster. Ian Keatley. Back to halfway he is, and he smacks this one high into the air. Hunt does well. Lila. Lado waits for McAllister. All oh, behind the defense now. Cornwell's there. He gets the wheels rolling. He's got numbers to burn and support. It's smart again, but he is all. Oh, he was smart look for Gardner, but the ball intercepted. And now here comes Andrew Smith. Oh, what a great run there from the centre. Keatley loses it. That looked like always going to happen there. Gardner again. Here's Gardner looking to put through. Grubbins ahead. But the day is saved at the back there from Azebo. O'Connell will pop it himself. Loses it to McAllister who gives it straight away again. Now Zebo hits this one straight to touch. But he was just inside his 22. Another high-paced electric matchup. The Guardians go with just the one jumper. Three-man line-outs. Wilder into McFadden. Here's Callum Witten. Callum Witten. Oh, through. He's gone. This is a nice run from Witten. He's looking to play it through the fullback. Gets it nicely done, too. But cover the fence. Plays nicely. Here is the run from Williams. So, oh, and he is absolutely squashed into touch. That was a good play, I thought, earlier. Grubbering it through the feet of Jones. Allowing those options to run. Now here's Maximus Wilder to throw in. All to the back he goes to heads. Here's Witten. Oh, here's Witten! Oh, that's magical! 
Peels away off the back of the line out and scores an exquisite try. We've seen some stunners from Callum Witten. That one is another. That is something the Guardians have looked to play. A set move right from the training field from Witten. He's quick enough. He is a spark off the back of the rucks and the line outs and any set piece. Acceleration was the key there from Witten. Bang, down it goes, zip zap, and he's through. Keatley had very little room to try and affect the tackle. And the men in the back of the line out were too involved in the lift of Dougal to really affect any defensive abilities. Again, we come back to Jack Waller again. Sun in his eyes. Beautiful striking boots that hit it. Another beautiful kick as well. The sun is slowly dipping away though. That one, a little bit better looking. 14-0. The Guardians looking good here against Munster. A chance here for the Guardians to go top of the table if they can get a win. Because big results in this round of round seven. The All Flakes with a massive win over the Flakers earlier in this round as Heads goes away to Gardner, creates space for Witten. Callum Witten's through again. He looks wide. Massive ball to Hunt. Hunt steps in. Beautiful to Jones. Oh, Jones takes it to ground. Great tackle coming in though from Munster. Den Ormanville. Misses everyone out and finds Gardner. Calvert, nicely. Hunt, beautiful hands. Pringle, the way again it goes. No one really on this one, but smart. Again, another good play from the right winger. McFadden away to Pringle. Pringle here, Ferry Lynn. He is a strong player of the ball. Oh, beautiful work as Hunt gets another desperate Release. pass that he somehow holds on to. Callum Witten, again, just about through. Way for Smart. Smart puts on the fin as he's the only man out there to attack. His support comes too slowly and they'll lose the ball here. Munster get it back. Oh, big shot there. And that is going straight down from Butler. Williams. Oh, back to Keighley and he is hit hard. Over. Vanish quickly over. As the Guardians look to affect some more pain. Jones away to Cordwell. He is all alone out here. Puts in a little chip. Here comes the defense. Oh, that's a try. That is a stunner. What do you say about try of the week? Callum Cordwell scores an absolute blistering try. All alone. You see the blue jumpers were everywhere. Heston Gardner and Kieran Jones sets them up. But look at it. There's five blue jumpers all around him. He says, get out of my way. Chip and chase. Speed. Precision. Try time. Guardians. They are blitzing the Munster side here without too much complication. Look at that speed from the centre. Well, you have to say, Callum Cordwell and Heston Garner have been very, very good today. This whole back line has been quite extraordinary. Half time is gone. Waller will have a chance here to put a couple more points on the board as we head to the break. He does so. First kick from the left side of the field. Makes no mistake, the fullback. A great first half from the Guardians. 21 0. That is half time. And that is a bonus point as well for the Guardians. What a display from the team with an opportunity to take outright first on the ladder. They have done that now already. All they need to do is hang on and win this match. And the top position is theirs. Unbelievable matches in round seven here. Look at the stats though. 69 and 67 position and territory both to the Guardians. Tackle count for Munster is huge. 50 already but the handling is that is what's causing the Guardians some problems but when it comes off it means three tries line breaks eight to two as well they'll be happy with how that one has gone so far Guardians lead this one with ease 21 nil can they inflict more pain on Munster in the second half we will find out let's get back to the action 21 nil Guardians lead and should be top of the table Jake Waller, the fullback, has been impressive as well. For the Guardians, he gets the game back underway. A very tall kick. 
Wide look at his thing. Got the fine, but it is back for Munster. Deneen receives a pass here. He's arguing the point, but a, a forward pass is a call. He did a great bit of Crouch. work there. Touch. To Deneen, but I think Garnazu's the one who See. threw the forward pass to him. Scrumpy Guardians just outside the 22. Oh, oh, look at this. Here's Cam Pringle with a number eight on his back. Witten misses out a couple. Goes to Cornwell. He has been outstanding. Stamps goes all the way. Oh, I can't believe it. What's an amazing try from Callum Cornwell. He did a blistering try just before half time. He's gone all the way again to score another. Straight through and away from Smith. The step past Jones. A couple of tackles from the cover defense of Williams and Smith again. But he's done it again. He's just that good at the moment. Callum Cordwell and here's the Gardner. Just too good. Takes a tackle, secures the ball. Try time. Guardians, four tries on the board. Jake Wall is back again. He won't be minding this. He's actually getting himself a few points now. Right in front, as easy as the day. They're getting easier as the match wears on for him, and he slots that one. No worries whatsoever. Four tries, four conversions. Eight points for Jack Waller at the back. Ten for Callum Cordwell. Four minutes into the second half, we have our first try of the second. And a deep kick as well. Finds its room out there. McAllister, who hasn't seen much action since those early goings. Cordwell does well. Hunt in the action again. Jones. Haven't seen anything from this left side. It's all, what is going on here from Keith Earls? Waller does fantastically to defuse that play. Munster get numbers back here, but I think the Guardians should hang on. Don Ormanville goes back to McAllister, who's going to, again, hit this one hard. Up towards halfway. At the back there is Jones, uses his support nicely with Earls. Back to Williams. Numbers in here as they look to the big man now. There's a high shot coming on Dougal. It is McAllister. Bit of revenge from some pent-up frustrations from earlier. But you have to say, Munster cannot look for three here. I think that boat has long sailed. They had the opportunity early to go for three. And they could have had the lead and put some pressure by via the scoreboard on the Guardians. But they have missed that chance by far. Full seven-man line out here for Munster. Garnazu will throw in. He goes, oh, he stops the ball. It's back to McAllister. And there's nothing more you can say about that. I from Ferryland has been brilliant in the set place. Jones off. Oh, what a tackle there at the back from Kieran Jones. Turnover ball. Luke to Normanville. Away for Eston Gardner. There's that man again. Peter Smart runs away from Deneen and Smith. And he's in for a double. Oh, Peter Smart has come. He has arrived. He is in for a second try. And the Guardians have five. He hasn't set the competition on fire to point yet. But today may be that day. Great support play. And he's just one of those wingers that does the basics very well. You give him a chance, he'll put it away. That's what Heston Gardner has done, who deserves a lot of credit for these tries. He hasn't scored one himself, Gardner, but he has been one of the best players out in the paddock. He has had a hand in just about every single one of these tries. And this man here is just cashing in on some kicks as well. This game as a contest is over. But there are still points on offer here for the Guardians. 35 to nil, Munster. Thanks for coming. Still have 27 minutes to go. Keatley. Again kicks off and he's given it straight to Heads who drops it to Calvert. Away we go to Pringle. 
Pringle loses the ball, but Garner's right. No, it's Wilder that's right there. He has Luke to Normanville. He has support as well. Gets it to Kieran Jones. He is a bit isolated here, and he will lose the ball. Numbers all have gone very deep. Back to Williams. They're in trouble here amongst them, but a good play from Smith. Gets them the options out wide, and Botha pulls it in, but Ferryland says, oh, thanks for the ball, and then gets smashed from the side just for the effort. No arm tackle there. And that's a penalty that the Guardians will have no interest in taking three. They'll happily kick this one into touch. Use a set play. Oh, Jake Waller. What a kick to the corner. Right on his limit. He's got it on a pinpoint. And that pinpoint is right there. Just 10 metres out at worst. You have to say it's about six or seven to the front. McFadden. Witten, McAllister, marking his return with a charging Please. run at the line. He's been decent as McAllister. To Normanville, he'll play scrum half, spots some room short side. Gardner, Gardner deserves it, and he gets it as well. He used the numbers, he used Karen Jones out wide, and there's the two of them. Great work, we know how dangerous Jones can be. But he's been used to the decoy here alongside Luke to Normanville, who's done very well as well. Pick up off the back. One man gone. Gardner's got the acceleration and through he goes. Jones cannot catch up. And you look at the camaraderie around this team as well. Kieran Jones only needed one pass and he could have been in for the try. But you just see the elation on his face and his body actions as well that say just how much that try means to this team. The Guardians are scoring tries for fun now. Almost untouchable. As Waller lines up another kick. 20 minutes remains. Left side out, steps up, hits it nicely. Another one is good. It is 42 to nil. This Guardian team has been given a boost by the clash of the other two subscriber sides. They've seen them, those two sides beat each other senseless in an amazing match. And it's given them confidence. They know they've just got a couple of matches till they have their first meeting with another subscriber side. As Calvert finds Cordwell. Oh, that was a massive ball to Pringle. Here's Wilder and Field to Ferryland. One and two. Go back to Jones. Jones running away, looks to step, gets away from Jones, his opposite number, and away goes Kieran Jones. Another try for the Guardians. This is too easy. Well, Kieran Jones has just made his mark on the match. It's 47 0. And they know they have made a statement here. Oh, you've got to feel sorry for Felix Jones at the back. It was Jones on Jones. But no chance for the one in blue. Great interplay of passes. And then the step off the right foot. Ganazu behind could not even touch Karen Jones as he scampers away. The speed, never a problem. This crowd know the results. And it's a rather somber affair here for the Munster fans. 17 minutes remain. Wallet from right in front, 47-0, make it 49. A slight cheer goes around the stadium. And you may well say the gloating will begin. 16 minutes to go, can they cap it off with the big 5-0? That's all they'll be looking for. Keighley, have to feel sorry for this monster side. They've given it all, but they've never really threatened this Guardians team at all. Hunt to the Normanville. Those two have been outstanding. Here's McAllister. Here we go. The man we've been wanting to see. Oh, he's got away. He has it again. Oh, he's knocked the ball on. That could have been the special moment for McAllister. Now it is Munster who looked to attack. Great tackle. Gardner up against Smith. Well, that man could do it all. Here's Callum Witten. Away to Calvert. Wilder as well involved. Sets it up centre field. Guardians pole in the numbers, but it will come back to Munster. They get a ruck turnover here. Earls looking to inject some new moves into this playbook. He's taken down face by face. 
O'Connell, strong run there by Paul O'Connell. They sit it back, both it, and now they look out to the right. Here's a chance. It's Kieran Jones on Keith Earls. Back in the field it goes, I see the Holland. Numbers as well. Here's a chance for Deneen. But he's put down nicely. Ball back, and he's the Guardians getting it back. Nine minutes remain, here's Cordwell, look out. Here's trouble, Callum Cordwell, he's through the first line. Looks for Smith, oh, looks for Gardner. Here's Smart, Smart steps in field. Looks outfield again, but can't get away. Callum wins the first man there. McAllister, the fairy tale continues. Cordwell, over to Jones, it's 101, the fan. Oh, Jones says get out of the way. He plants that ball down, and we have another with a brace. Kieran Jones gets the second and the scoreboard ticks over 50. Well, the Guardians have been magnificent. They've scored tries everywhere. And what more can you say about this? The accolades have to run out soon. McAllister sublime. He hasn't got himself a try or anything silly like that. But Kieran Jones fending off Keith Earls. You have to say, this has to be nearly the most complete performance we've seen from a side. Munster is struggling, sure. But still to put 50 points on a team takes some good work. Here's Wooler again from the left side. That is another beautiful kick. And it doesn't matter how many you lead by. To drill them from the touchline is still no easy task. But like they say, when you're on, you're on. And this Guardian side is definitely on. 56-0. What a hammering. Calvert looks to McAllister. They're going to go again. Heads. The way to Smart. Smart goes into touch. Now Matt's happening out there on the right-hand wing there for Peter Slard. He has been sublime. Two tries from him. Line out here for Munster. Garnazu. O'Connell pulls it in nicely. They're just outside the 22. Hunt charges it on in and both it gets a run in as well. Release. Guardians with numbers to the breakdown, but they don't find it back their way. Here's Williams with a short run down the left Release. side, but doesn't get anywhere either. Munster trying all the way through, but they're just not getting anything at all A stander. Now gets a brick wall. Keatley. There's the two hookers charging Release. at each other as well. Garnazu goes to ground. Zemo. Oh, Zemo throws the dummy. He's got away from one tackle, but he does Release. not find his way through the cover defense. Williams. Big pass wide. Now's a chance. Good tackle, McAllister. Jones is two on one. Smith on field, but the pull down is nice on Deneen. Well, it just doesn't look like happening here for Munster. And the Guardians turn this over. Pringle, Cordwell, Denormanville away to McAllister. He's held up nicely. The ball waits. And now Ferryland running over the top to Jones. Has Cordwell. Advantage. Oh, he's knocked it on. It's gone into touch. That will be full time. They were looking for just one more to really put that point on the exclamation mark. But Callum Cordwell, he is human after all. Drops it after a great tackle coming in from Andrew Smith. There is full time. We've known for quite a while. The result, the winner, was confirmed a long, long time ago from this match. But the Guardians just reaffirm that they are front runners to take out this tournament Munster come with hope they left with utter disappointment to have 56 points put on you is no good feeling at all and to be left with the big donuts is even worse 56 nil. the final score the Guardian is the only team to score points 8 tries throughout the match Heston Gardner and Callum Witten with one try apiece. But it was Kieran Jones, Callum Cordwell and Peter Smart who all came in with a brace. Two tries each. 56-0. Jake Waller, eight conversions to boot. The stats 
domination. There's not much more you can say about it. Possession, 72%, and territory, 65 both to the Guardians. The handling errors were extraordinary, 31 to 5. But what has got me the most is the tackle count, 53 to 99. That is a massive amount, over 150 tackles. 17 line breaks of five. What a matchup. We have seen the Guardians with a massive win, and they will go top of the table. So let's wrap this one up. We'll have a look at the table itself, see who is coming up next in round eight, and look forward to the team of the week. There's a lot to pick from for try of the week this week as well. So get those comments flowing as to who you think deserves to be there and who were your standouts from today's performance was. So 56 to nil. That is one-sided as it gets. The Guardians dominating Munster. Other matches to take place. Waratah 1918 over the Stormers. And Toulon have gone 16-8 over the Highlanders. That looks up for our next match, which will be the All Flakes up against the Glasgow Warriors. Just two matches. The Guardians in action against Ospreys. So that means the Flakers, after their loss, will now go in for the bye. The standings. Here it is. Guardians, seven matches, seven wins. Five bonus points, 33 points from the Guardians. They sit atop the table. The Flakers who have the bye next week will probably see them drop down further possibly, but they are on 30, and the All Flakes on the 26 with a game in hand against pretty much everyone. The Highlands is the only side to play eight matches so far. Toulon are right there on 25, the Waratahs 21, and Clermont 20 still with a chance fighting out for their playoff spot. But next match is the All Flakes versus Glasgow Warriors. That will be, hopefully, a cracking match. The All Flakes looking to back up from that big one over the Flakers. I'll be here for that one very soon. But first of all, of course, we'll have the team of the week with all sorts of amazing statistical goodness and our best performing 15 players from round seven. Hope to see you all there. I hope to see plenty of comments as well about who you thought performed well on round seven and who you thought got the best try. Remember to hit the straw poll for the round six try of the week as well. And let me know who you thought scored the best one from those. But for now, that is my time done and done. So thank you for tuning and watching. Hope you have enjoyed this very high scoring match and I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.